The city and its partners are expanding efforts to provide free meals to young people in Boston during the summer. To tell us about Boston Summer Eats are the program manager with the Mayor's Office of Food Access, Stephanie Voltaire, and the Director of Food and Nutrition Services for the YMCA of Greater Boston, Karibe Hebe. Thank you both for being with us. Thank, Thank you for having us. I want to start with uh, Stephanie. I, I know it's almost too simple to believe, but how exactly does this program work? Yeah. So Boston Summer Eats is a partnership between the City of Boston Mayor's Office of Food Access, the Greater Boston YMCA, and um, Project Bread, as well as Boston Public Schools. And we provide free meals to kids 18 and under throughout the summer months when school's not in session in different areas throughout the city. Um, throughout the school year, every BPS student have access to free breakfast and free lunch. So during the summer months, a lot of them go hungry or choose the unhealthier options due to a lack of access to meals. So this program comes in and fills in that gap when school's not in session. Karibi, uh, the YMCA has been offering programs for young people for, for decades, so uh, why, why plug into this program? We think that for our kids to be more healthy during the summer, we need to make sure that we are providing healthy meal options for them. So the YMCA of Greater Boston offers 80 different programs across the city where kids can get a free breakfast, lunch, and snack. Um, we believe that in order to have our kids more active and in order to curve the learning losses during the summer, um, it is adequate that kids have access to healthy meals and also activities as well around the city. Uh, explain the connection a little bit more because you talk about the learning loss that normally goes on during the summer. How does food fit into <coughs> it? Is it directly or is it indirectly by getting kids into other programs maybe? Yes, yeah, so the, um, the summer um, loss um, kids that are either in poverty area or in low income area actually loses about a month and a half of math and writing skills during the summer um, due to just not being in after school programs. So what we do is we have programs where kids can come get a meal, but we also offer additional activities such as computer games, such as um, computer learning services, reading, writing, and also physical activity. Stephanie, uh, people also get help with food from government programs, and uh, some people now are more worried about the government uh, maybe penalizing them for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I mean, you, how do you address that through this yeah. program? Well, the good thing about Boston Summer Eats is we ask for no ID, no parents or guardians. So anyone that comes in, as long as you look like you're 18 and under, you can get a free meal. So it's really a comfortable and safe place, any of the summer meal sites, are a comfortable and safe place for anyone to come and get a free meal. Yeah. And Korea, talk about that, but how important it is to get a kid into one of these safer spaces. Yeah, so during this summer, we have realized that kids are spending time at non-traditional sites, um, such as libraries, community centers, and also housing authorities. So in order for us to provide a safe space, we do try to create summer food programs where kids are comfortable. Um, so we are expanding at farmers markets, we have food sites at libraries where we know kids are comfortable and then we can also provide the additional meal. Um, Stephanie, what about other things to expand the reach of this program? You, you've got some mobile sites, yeah. what does that mean exactly? So we're very excited this year we're piloting um, Boston Summer Eats Mobile Meals with the Boston Public Schools and Love Your Block out of the City of Boston Office of Neighborhood Services. And basically, we're going to where the kids are at. We're going to the MBTA stations, we're going to the pools, we're going to the beaches, we're going to five different neighborhoods, one neighborhood per day, 11.30 to 1.30, and we're just there in a van and serving meals to kids 18 and under. How do you make sure young people take advantage of this? Because, uh, you know, uh, a lot of them, they have parents that work during the day, so no one's dragging them here. So how, how do you make sure they want to come? Yeah, so we make sure that our summer sites are enticing. So we make sure that we have games. We make sure we have kids bring in their friends um, so they can have that communal meal. Um, we also do offer um, teen memberships as well for, uh, for the, our youth in the summer. So teens are able to get a, a free membership to any YMCA of Greater Boston in the city and teens can also participate in different programs such as basketball leagues and um, government, government programs. And finally, Stephanie, of course, the, the other reason this program helps is that um, we still have people in the neighborhoods in Boston who live in, I guess, in food deserts, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we do. And um, I do want to thank the Boston Children's Hospital um, Collaboration for Community Health Grant. Through this grant, it allows us to fund 32 sites throughout the city. So now there's even more sites in um, 
various areas through the, throughout the city. And as Kariba mentioned, farmers markets, um, pools, and parks, etc., to um, provide meals to anyone. So we're in the food desert areas. We're in all neighborhoods throughout the city, thanks to this grant. And if people want to find out where those locations are, uh, what, what should they do exactly? Yeah, so um, there's four different ways where you can find um, locations for summer meal sites. Mm -hmm. You can call or you can visit um, mealsforkids.org and put in your location where you are and the summer meal sites that are near you will pop up. Yeah. And Karibi, finally about uh, more information on the YMCA? Yes, so the best way to um, get information about the YMCA is to visit www.ymcaboston.org and that's where we have all our activities um, and all our programs. Thank you both very much, Karibi, Ibe, and Stephanie Voltaire.